Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to episode 16, I think, of Project Architect. If it's not, I will, um, I'll correct it. Um, yeah, so last episode, I was, we left the power room. I had my reactor set up for, um, power reactors. And, um, I was going to work on it in time for the next episode and I've done that and let's actually let's go up on the roof and have a look I think that's the best way to appreciate it and there's my power room I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it and um, I was just looking through different kinds of bricks and stuff and I saw the luminous glass I wanted that and I saw the redstone redstone ore bricks and it's like, oh they look interesting. And then I saw the weeping blackstone bricks and it's like, yeah, it looks gory. <laughs> but you know, I I kinda like it. I think it's cool for the power room. And also Oh, you're not going to have I no I haven't frozen. These windows they are I don't know why it doesn't there you go yeah they are the um the dark ethereal glass so i can pass through them but i also have the travel anchor in here as well so i can go you know oh no i forgot it doesn't like it if i have stuff in my hand sometimes sometimes it will work sometimes it doesn't let's go out on the roof but i can you know I can travel in and out of it when I need to. But, um, so yeah. Yeah, uh, but, oh yeah, that's not that. We want power station. I know I've done a bit of torch spam in here. Not torch, lantern spam. Originally, I was going to create a, um, an extra room. And then I discovered that Comprime, Comprime? What on earth is Comprime? Um, compact Machines is in this, which you probably noticed the shrinking device, the, you know, the, the, um, the eagle-eyed among you. So I have, I made all four or five, I think five of the machines. They range from tiny, which is, as they say, let me just show you. Okay, we need control G. It's four machines, so you've got small, giant, and maximum. No, it was five. I was correct. You have tiny, large. Well, no, that's not good. That doesn't make sense. You'll have tiny, then small, then large, then giant, and then maximum. And then this one I've made is maximum. And to, you also have to craft the personal shrinking device. And when you click on it in the air, it just gives you it's it's supposed to be the the manual for it as well. So they come in rare, rare, various sizes ranging from three by three by three to 13 by 13 by 13. And you can use tunnels to connect the outside block faces with any of the inside walls to transport items, fluids, etc. Not sure how you do that, but one of these days I'll find out. And you can enter a compact machine by right-clicking it with a personal shrinking device. Please use JEI to look up the crafting recipes. So I did those. And then to get in, you take your personal um, personal shrinking device. I have a sign over it because I, I just put it there to remind myself what it is. Um, you need to make sure that your shrinking device is aimed at the actual compact machine and not at anything that might be over it and then you right click it and you go in and usually when you go in you might come in the middle here and then if you want to change your spawn you shift right click and it will tell you new spawn point set but this is going to be the middle of the reactor so we don't want to spawn in the middle of the reactor so I've put my spawn point to be here now I did have a look 
See if I can work out what's going on. Oh, I set up my wireless receiver as well in here. Um, so I can access the um, my wireless grid. So there's that. So I want to make, I mean, I could make a reactor as big as this room. So that would be, that's 13 by 13 by 13. That would be a 9 by 9 by 9, right? But I don't want to do that. I decided to come down a little bit and I'm making a seven by seven. So that's, set, that's the inside. This is the inside um, walls. Inside, yeah, inside walls. That's the outside walls. If we look up, that's the reactor. That's the footprint of the reactor, right? So when you have, when they say it's a three by three by three, that's the inside dimensions not the outside dimension so then the three by three by three would be inside then plus you need an extra one on the outside so it will end up being five by five by five i hope that makes sense um so i also want to put in a floor so if i need to route things around it i can All right so um let's get wood for the floor I don't know what logs we want. Let's see what we have. Planks. Eh, sky root. I think sky root. Don't know why, but I think sky root is a good thing. But that's going to be the base. So we put it here. Is that time? It's making a slime noise. Oh, my days. That is just weird. And of course, I'm now realizing that really and truly. I should have put my. Um, my thing on top. Hold on. Let's put you, you guys. And that's the outside wall here. Uh, outside wall and this is where's my redstone tool and that is inside wall okay right now we have that let me put down let me see i can use the building gadget i need a whole lot more of these sky root planks uh building gadget there we go ah wrong thing oh i needed to do that anyway i would have spawned underneath so yeah, that's actually probably what we needed to do. Building gadget. There you go. Um, shift click. We want that. Press G. And we want build to me. And it will build across the room. Okay, that is quite, that's quite bright. I didn't realize how bright that is, but that's okay. All right, so um, if I come in by two on the third one, it would be an outside wall, right? Two, third one is the outside wall, next one is the inside. Right, we've got that. We need some kind of access point, so we need a trapdoor. I don't know why I did that because we have more than enough. All right, sky root. Right, we just want one trapdoor. 
think we set our spawn point to be here. To spawn. Set you up. Our trap door. Right. And then we can change into this. I should have gone from the top. Yep, should have gone from the top. I've killed a lot of things though. That's the Guster. Um that thing. It looks really mental. It's it's weird. Uh where are we? There you go. But we fit under here very nicely. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, how come it's... Is my reach longer as a fly? Because I shouldn't be able to reach that far. That is mental. I, sh I, sh I shouldn't be able to reach that far. But I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. Okay, let's hurry up. Okay, that's done for now. And if you want to see something really freaky, there's me as a fly. I'm guessing that's a blue bottle. Isn't that just weird? Oh, and the noise, the, the, the noise. Oh, right. Anyway. Right. So our reactor now. Control G reactor casings. We need those. React. Okay. I didn't make all the stuff that I need. All right, so we need, well, well, first of all, we need the reactor casing. Um, get like five stacks, maybe. I know there's a calculator online. I found one for like an, for the one, like the old mod. I don't know if it's the same thing and I couldn't really work out how to use it. So I just left it. Um, okay, that's one, two. Three, four, five, nine. And that should be two from the end. Okay. Actually, we can just quickly do two from the end. Take you out. Take you out. And then building gadget. If click. And then build to me. And then we need to build nine up. As one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, correct. I should be two from the top. Yes, that is correct. Right, maybe I should be on the, f no, not on the floor.
oh there's nothing there to um right so i need to do the outside corners first yeah if there's nothing if there's nothing to build against it's not going to build Right, um, I went ahead, I finished put up the walls and the top, I used the wand to do that, but I remember that you can use reactor glass on the walls, so I emptied this bit out, and I was just about to make reactor glass. Alright, so let's put back a set of you guys. I think we're going to need more than two stacks. Right. Yeah, we don't need those for now. Right, that's where there's a port that's supposed to be there. Okay, right. Let's use the wand. Right, so the reactor glass we can see inside. Then we need. I don't know what you use turbines for, so there's that. Our reactor fuel rod, we need those. Right, we can put back the glass. Um, coolant port, I think we need one of those. Control rod, we need seven of those, I think. Yes, I think we need seven of those. Get an extra one to drop into the into here. Reactor casing, we've got that. Reactor access port, we need one of those. Uh, did I not do the other one? Coolant port. I thought I did. And there is this power tap. I think we need one of those as well. Heat, heat. We don't need the heat stuff. Okay, so there's a access port, coolant port, power tap. There should be four. What am I missing? What am I missing? Oh, reactor terminal. Okay, right, so the terminal goes in front. Then we go around this way. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Counting with Shane. Yep, that's it. So then we need the access port, the coolant port and the power tap so coolant on this side power tap 
access port then we need to put in we need to put in our control rods now apparently people put them in in like a a checkerboard pattern I don't know what's the best way to do it or the most efficient way to do it but I think it seems to be with most um, most mods when you have stuff like this the checkerboard pattern is the most efficient okay so we do that and then we can use the wand where's my wand and we're going to no eh, use almost half a stack we need more we will need more but anyway we'll get there i can use the wands now to build uh no ah and there's no wand up there is no that is that with the old one No, that's with the old one. Ah, oh. I went and put the wrong thing. All right, let's start. Yeah. Well, it's gonna. If nothing else, it just shows that you need to be careful. Because I thought I had the reactor. Not the, the the fuel rods. I thought I had those selected, but it was the floor. So you see, I make the mistake, so you don't have to. All right, that's all of it, right? Yes. Now let's make sure we've got the right things. Fuel rods. That's it. I'm at one. The only thing doing it this way is that I can't tell if it's all been done or not. Yeah, it looks like it has been. Have we run out? We've run out. Uh, what are these things? Your rods. Your rods. I think that's everything. And then you leave the top. You leave the top, um, top ones, you leave that. Wrong thing. And then you need, why do I think, why did I think you need seven? You need a lot more than seven. I don't know why I thought I needed seven. You need more than seven. Okay, that seems to be it. And then we need to put in the coolant. Now, I've seen people use emeralds. I'm not sure what's the best coolant to use. So I'm just going to go with the emeralds. I've been checking and I realized that I've gone and put on an extra layer of um whatever this stuff is or the coolant fuel so 
I will go back to I will put these in correctly and then the others go back and fix it so yeah just thought I'd drop in and tell you that and then I'm going to go back to put in back and this back in Okay, and now that I've finished, I've realized how I could have done this a whole lot easier. And basically, I should have set out the bottom pattern. So do the the checkerboard with the um the fuel rods and the coolant. No, the fuel, sorry. That's fuel. Actually I don't know what the emeralds represent. I think I said that. But if I'd done the checkerboard pattern at the bottom and then build it up with the wand with everything in my inventory i would have finished a lot faster but there you go pro life tip for you Okay. Reactors may only have coolant ports or power taps, but not both. Okay. Which one they said it was? Coolant ports, which is active, or power taps, which are passive. We want passive. So, this comes out. access port so do we need two access ports then okay so now this is done it's blinking e all right but i have no idea what you know internal battery and we need to set up we need to set up now um like the emc link and stuff if we have two emc links we need a plug and we need um did we make a second network or should we just all pour it into the one network I think we should just pour it all into the one network. All right, so there's that. We need um we need the same setup. I can take these down now. It was these were just really to so I would know how high the reactor was gonna go, so I'd know what kind of clearance I'd have. Okay, um, all right, so if I have the same setup that I had in the other power room, we have two EMC links, and one is, okay, so this is input, output and it's outputting waste okay 
fight. So that is waste. So we need um troll. We need um item pipes. Why does it take things out a stack at a time? I've noticed that. If I go and click on it, it will automatically take out a stack. I don't know. I can't remember if that's how it's configured. So if that's output, that would be, um, I need the wrench. And this is going to be input, right? Input, yeah. So that comes this way. Actually, we don't need, we don't need that. Because the EMC interface is going to sit on top of that. That's fine. All right, control G, enter. No, I don't want that. Interface. This is input. Uh, is this inputting? I don't know if that's inputting what it's supposed to input. It is doing it automatically. I am liking this. And that is output. And that will pull out whatever we need. So right now, do we have any cyanide? Because that's what it ejects. Cy. Oh yes, because you can make it. Yeah. Well, never mind. All right, but no, it's um, it's putting in the fuel. Putting in the fuel. Should we just start it up? gets hot really fast. I don't know what happens. Look, oh, they're filling up. Oh, wow. They're filling up. That seems quite hot. Is that going to explode on me? I don't know if that's going to explode on me or not. I don't know how to optimize this. But I'm I'm glad that I put the the glass on the front. The only thing is, I can't get a proper picture of. It. Hold on, let's see. Okay, took two pictures. One of them will work. Or... Yeah, didn't think about pictures when, when I decided to set it up. But we've got this. And it's filling up. I'm, I'm glad I, put, I remembered that we could put the, um, the glass on the front. And then we can see what's going on because I didn't know that these things. All right, that is that's a lot. I have how reactive it is. It's very reactive. How much fuel it's consuming. How much RF? So that's eight point. Yeah, I have no idea. And that's how hot it is. But I guess this doesn't explode. Does it explode? I have. I know there's something you can do. You can. More insertion reduces reaction rate. What does that mean? All right. 
Um, if I do Alt Control, Alt Control, and that reduce that inserts them all by half. I have no idea what that means. It's going. The temperature's going down, though. Temperature's going down. I have no idea what that means. But I'll. No, it's going up. No, it's going down. The temperature's definitely going down. I guess I just put it in and leave it. I will have to see what I can do. <laughs> We made a reactor. We made a thing. And all of them should be half. Okay, why would you want to name your control rods? Unless they all have like different this. Is it just how it is? I don't know. I don't know why you'd want to name all your control rods. And then we need to go and put some stuff on this so let's come out of some batteries um base okay now i know rf tools is in this and with rf tools you have let's see if i can find it Oh, it's not in here. You had um, the storage, the cells, the power cells. But that isn't in the... Uh, no, space chamber? Space chamber? What's a space chamber? Yeah, it doesn't have the power cells. Okay, so we've got more power storage up here now. It's going to fill up pretty fast. But, um, I mean, what we can do as well, because obviously we're producing way more power than we need, but um, we can, we can at least turn it off. Is that going up very slowly? No, it's not going up slowly. It's going up quite fast. Okay, are they filling up one at a time then? I don't know how these work. Yes. But it's going up 100, 110,000 FE per tick, which is a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I have never, I've, I've never made a reactor. So, um, yeah, there you go. So we've got our reactor, we can start looking at, let's have a look at the, the farm. Now that I'm here, nothing in here. Oh hello. These are filling up slowly, that's fine. Yeah. I think in the coming episodes we're going to start looking at... Oh. I forgot blazes don't like water. But obviously that is going to um gonna kill them quite quickly, or at least help. That's quite cool. Right, anyway, see sidetracked again. Yeah, in the in the next couple of episodes, I I think we should start looking at starting draconic evolution. Now that we have the power to run draconic evolution, I'm gonna have to think about where I want to put the draconic evolution area because i mean we've got wireless power so it doesn't necessarily have to be um in here and um draconic evolution and the rf tools dimensions those are the next two big projects that we want to do um like i said ars nouveau i i i'm not really enamored with it 
I'm I'm not really a huge fan of magic mods. Every time I get a pack with magic with a magic mod in it, I'm like, yeah, I really want to learn that. And then, like, oh, that is just. Uh, I find them very underwhelming. They look cool. They can do cool things, but I'm not a huge fan. The technical mods are where I'm more interested in. I mean, half the time I can't get my head around it, but I try with it. And, you know, we can, you know, I, I get to learn something. So, yeah, I think that's the plan for the next couple of episodes. We start Draconic. We start RF Tools. Because we have the power. And, um, actually, I think the next episode we will do RF Tools. And go to another dimension because you know this one this one is okay but it's quite samey because i mean look you've got you've got the villages you've got the wizard towers you've got the caves full of stuff with things that want to kill you why not go to a totally different place with full of weird creatures that want to kill you you know a bit of variety so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode bye bye